ABC News, Washington. Well, let's go to uh, Titusville in Florida, near the Kennedy Space Center, from which uh, Apollo 11 was launched. We can speak to Dr. Ken Kramer, the former research scientist and space journalist uh, and blogger. 50 years on, I remember it. Uh, uh, I think maybe, <laughs> obviously, you do as well. Uh, but w when you see the international cooperation, when you see how the world came together, even to get those pictures back, for example, from the moon, what is the lesson 50 years on? Does it show what the world can do, even if there's a particular sense of national pride for the United States? Oh, absolutely. The world can work together. NASA is all about the peaceful exploration of space. So this is a way humanity can work together in a peaceful way to advance everybody's well-being. So it's, it's a wonderful thing. Um, yeah, I was watching it 50 years ago. I looked up the moon, uh, up at the moon, and I couldn't believe there were two two men walking on there, but but because I was just so young, I was just a child. And now we're going back. I'm really glad we're going back. We should have never stopped going to the moon. There's so many great things, great science and benefits to humanity from exploring space. Isn't, isn't it, though, wrong when people say that the space program stalled? I mean, the space program stalled in terms of putting men uh, on the moon, but so much science has been learned since uh, that, that event 50 years ago. That's right. We haven't gone beyond low Earth orbit, which is the, the fault of the politicians, really. But right, it, it has not stalled. Most people think nothing's going on, but there's a lot going on. We have the International Space Station, you know, in orbit. There's six people there. We just launched again a few hours ago from Russia, again, showing that international cooperation you were talking about. You know, we have the rovers on Mars. I do a lot of panoramas on Mars. I work with your BBC, uh, Jonathan Amos. He's published a lot of my Mars panoramas. We, we, you know, we're looking for life beyond Earth. Mars is a great place for that. Looking for organic molecules, the building blocks of life. You know, it could be there. Uh, and NASA is now, you know, committed to what 2024, getting back onto the moon, and then that expedition to Mars. Do you think it will be uh, a, a national? competition as it was 50 years ago, in particular between uh, the former Soviet Union and the States? Uh, it won't be a competition like that because we're actually working with the Russians right now. As I mentioned, this they, they our astronauts, your Tim Peake, India, just, China, you know, they launch on the Russian Soyuz rockets to get there. So we're going to work with ESA. ESA is uh, going to build a service module for the Orion crew capsule that will actually send our people back to the moon. So this is very international cooperation. It's a way to spread the cost. And then we can do a lot more than just all of us working alone. So it's it's international cooperation instead of international competition. All right. OK, Dr. Ken Kramer, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us uh, here on BBC World News. Just before we go, let's